Monday morning, guys. Welcome to Mediumship by Picasso. My name is Picasso Roberts, and I want to say thank you so much for stopping by my channel. Um, today is going to be spirit message and card pull for the week. And that is, you know, I always do this. I always forget to get the dates. Hang on a second. It is October 17th through October 23rd. I should know this. I just came off a weekend of Spirit Fest and I knew it was the 15th and 16th. I'm just not connecting the dots this morning. Um, on that note, for uh, Port St. Lucie, Florida is where I uh, was with Spirit Fest. Uh, big event in Port St. Lucie. I want to say thank you so much to everybody who came out. It's good organization and super cool energy and the readings were great um the connections were great spirit was on point a little goofy took me around the block a couple of times and i experienced a few new things that they've shown me um i'll share that with you another day but uh today we're really going to focus on what's happening for the week and it actually feels pretty good i'm tired but uh we're going to get this message out uh, and i'm so glad to do it uh, so uh, also I want to say a big huge thank you to those of you who have subscribed and the new subscribers that uh, I recently met and for jumping on and supporting really appreciate it I need all the support a girl can get thank you so much um, and thank you for just being a part of the growth of this channel it's it's kind of a cool thing it's all new to me the whole technology social media thing i have been fighting it over the last couple of years but i'm stepping into it more and more so i'm just gonna go with it also this week instead of doing you know typically on thursdays i drop a new video um an interview on my getting to know you series this week it's going to be getting to know me a little bit so i'm going to share not everything but you know i'm going to share some stuff with you guys uh, this week and then I'll pick up where I left off interviewing some uh, colleagues one of my colleagues next week so that'll be kind of cool but it's good for me to share about myself so you feel like you can connect with the experiences that, that I've had and maybe see how I got through things or you know what the hell how I'm still standing <laughs> it amazes me every year it just amazes me so let's get right into the sauce, right? Um, I'm going to read this message. Now listen, I wrote, I'm going to read my scribbles. Usually I'll rewrite it so I can let it flow a little bit easier. So, but I know how to edit. So let's go. This is the week to speak your truth. Say what you mean and mean what you say. Don't be temperamental with people. That gets you nowhere. When you speak... Let there be rebuttal. Yes, it's called communication, conversation. Give people the time that you would like to receive. On that same note, make the simple connection to friends who haven't heard from you in some time. It is the moment to plug back in and feel what you meant to them and what they meant to you so long ago. We all come together for a reason. Let's not forget the reasons that have been shown to you. These will be people that have seen you at your worst and at your best. We all know who those people are. Imagine the hub of light and love that keeps you connected through many lifetimes. Share your missed stories with each other. Share your battle scars and your unhealed wounds. And be proud of yourself for sticking it out during the struggles. Laugh. Laugh until your side hurts or you pee a little. This brings you joy, and joy is what you all need at this moment. Salt and pepper, Starsky and Hutch, yin and yang, bring the joy to balance the rest. It is your reprieve, a much needed reprieve. With so much loss, there will be rebirth. Wait for it. It will be unquestionably the most invigorating moment in your life as you see it begin. Stand proud that you are still here to see it. So just this message is really cool. It's the, the biggest part of this is about reconnecting with people from your past. 
um, people that you still care about but haven't really connected with in a long time. Um, and that's those people that have seen you, like they said, like Spirit said, at your very, very best or your very, very worst. So those people, they never leave you, really. You know, sometimes we split off paths and then come back together. And it's important to understand that we're always connected with our kind of our tribe that we come up in. Um, and it's so many lifetimes that we're in and out of lifetimes with these same people. Uh, the thing is what Spirit was showing me with the connection, they showed me this big sort of, uh, I don't know, this kind of hub of glowing light. And then off shoots of that hub um, are us, basically, of us connecting out with more people. We all connect to the light and then us plugging in to the people, into the light and then to the people out and out. Just part of our existence, part of our, part of our life, this go round. And I don't know, it was a really cool, it was a really cool vision that they gave me with regards to that. Um, you know, look, there's people that we don't want to connect with, that we don't, that we don't want to we had enough, you know, uh, and that's okay. They're not saying that you got to, you know, connect with people you don't want to connect with. Don't do that. That's, that's ridiculous. Um, but, you know, if somebody's probably been on your mind, there'll be a reason for that. Pay attention to that. It means something. So we're not going to get all long and lots of words today. I'm tired. It's been a long weekend. So um, I'm going to, I'm going to make it kind of short and sweet today if I can. Sometimes that happens. Sometimes it doesn't. Anyway, um, so that's it with the spirit message. If you have comments you want, put your comments in the comment section. Um, if you're popping on and you're hearing the message, um, subscribe. Uh, just hit the subscribe button. It doesn't cost anything. You're not going to get bombarded by any weird spammy spams or phone calls or emails or weird things. It's just a way for YouTube to uh, understand um, how much uh, traffic is being brought to my channel. So help me grow, guys. Help me grow. I always appreciate it. Oh, So let's get right into the card pull for the week. I'm going to pull a couple from... I'm going to pull just from one deck today, and it's going to be from the Spirit Messages. This is the John Holland deck. Um, I'm getting to really like this deck. I really am. It's getting the more, the more, one just popped out, so I'm going to grab that. Um, the more I use it, the more comfortable it becomes, and the more connected I become with the cards. Yay. I don't know. You know, that's kind of how it works. Back in the day when I first started using cards, and actually I kind of still do that, um, when I would buy a deck, uh, not tarot, just the oracle cards. Um, nothing wrong with tarot. I just it just never meshed with me. I tried it and it just wasn't my thing. Um, I just second guessed too much into. I got too analytical about it, and you you can't do that when you're dealing with with um, tarot or tarot. Oh, there you go. Oh, the two came out of that. See how they just flew out of there? Love it when that happens. So we got three today. Oh, I love this. This is really cool. Okay, good messages for the week. So thank you, Spirit, for bringing those up. All right, the first one we're going to talk about is... Whew, I know I need this one. Um, this is going to be about cleanse. Water, 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 water. This is all I hear with this one, cleanse. But they're also talking about cleansing the mind as well. So shaking that shit off that doesn't belong to you anymore. Let it, if it enters your mind, let it out. Just take it, pull it, and put it to the side. You don't need it. So cleanse is not just about the body, the water, 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 um, flushing out the body, flushing out the toxins. Yes, that's true. Yes, they... They're showing me that. Um, however, they're also talking about make sure when you're cleansing the body, you're also taking out the trash, cleansing the mind as well. Um, gosh, there's so much. They're telling me there, there is so much guilt 
uh, connected to people, uh, you guys, if you're dealing with, like, let it go. If you have guilt, that's a lot of weight that you don't need. That's a lot of baggage that you are making yourself carry. Um, the quicker you get to acceptance that things are not necessarily your fault and just let it go as part of your experience, chalk it up to a lesson learned, don't hang on to guilt. That is that is not yours to hold on to. Um, it, I, I feel with that, I feel a heaviness in my heart and a heaviness in my chest um, with that emotion. Let it go. Uh, don't hold on to guilt, all right? Uh, that's just another part of the cleanse process. So remember that, all right? Remember that. Cleanse. Let that shit go. Okay, and the next one is stay connected, which isn't that what we just talked about? Spirit's great. I love it when they do this. I love when we're all on the same page and the same message comes through the cards that comes through the the automatic writing or the spirit message that comes through for you guys. Um, staying connected. Be your own best friend is what I hear. Be your own best friend and reach out to others. Stay connected. You know, don't, don't let people go too far down the road without letting them know that you're thinking about them. Say it before you lose your chance to say it, right? Stay connected. That feeds the heart that brings joy to the heart, brings laughter to the heart. You can share stories with with these people that you you've been through some stuff with. So don't let that go. This is just these are part of your peeps. Stay connected. And spirits showing me these small gatherings. So this is like barbecues and you know, sit and sip, sitting with a glass of wine or, uh, you know, I, one of my favorite things is tapas, like just hors d'oeuvres. Don't make a huge meal, but just hors d'oeuvres and a good glass of wine or a good martini. Or if you don't drink a good tea or a good seltzer with some, with some veggies or fruits or things, my, come on here, pay attention. Uh, anyway, stay connected, stay connected to your people. I love that. And look at that picture. We match. <laughs> Just kidding. I don't know, but it matches. I can't help it. Okay. And the third thing, again, that is part of the spirit message today. Be proud. Be proud that you stuck it out. Oh, I'm shaking. Sorry. Um, be proud that you stuck it out. Be proud that you got through all the muck and the the murkiness that can sometimes be life. Um, be proud of yourself for, uh, I don't know, being there for other people as well. There's not, there are some belief systems that, uh, that would say to be prideful is not a great thing. It's not a good thing. But I say, and I call, BS on that. I'm just saying. I call BS on that. It's good to be proud of you getting, you know, going the distance. It's good to be, you know, give yourself a pat on the back for showing up for people, for friends or for people um, that need a hand or, you know, whatever. It's okay to give yourself a little pat on the back. It doesn't mean that you're making it all about you. It doesn't. You know, sometimes we just need to acknowledge the stuff that we stuck around for. So the cards this week, stay connected. It's right along along the lines of the spirit message. Cleanse, right? Up here first. And the body as well. Water, water, water. Flush the body out. But remember, cleanse your thoughts. Change your thought process. Change your those negative thoughts. Pull them out. Put them aside. They don't belong to you anymore. Change your thought pattern. Uh, and be proud. All good cards, all good messages, and not so heavy this week. You know, the last couple of weeks, there was some heavy stuff hanging around, but it feels a little bit lighter today, and that's really good. So I'm, I'm glad we all need stuff that's a little bit lighter. Uh, it's 
it just, uh, it's our time. <laughs> Finally, let us, let us don't carry a whole bunch of stuff. Let us just be lighter today and from here on out, right? I think that's it, guys, for the week. I'm just going to leave it at that. Um, don't forget to subscribe before you leave the channel. Don't forget to, if you like it, hit, you know, click on that thumbs up. If you want to get notifications, hit the bell and uh, that YouTube will give you notif notification that uh, I got a new video up. Stop by my website. You can read a little bit about me on my website so you can kind of see a little bit of my story. I do have a book for sale. Uh, it has been around for, I think I published it in 20, technically 2019, and then I was meant to take it out and about on t in 2020. That didn't happen. Uh, so if you want to know my story, you can get my book on Amazon. You could get it at Barnes & Noble. You'd have to order it. If uh, I'm out of them right now, I think I have one. If you want to order it from me, you can do that on my website. Uh, I've got to order some more from uh, Ingram Spark. So Give me a chance to do that. Um, the other thing is, you know, book a reading with me. That is that is my most fun thing. And listen, if you're in the Florida area or, you know, in an area that you want to have a gallery event and you know there's a place that I could do it that would um, allow me to do a, a couple of hours of spirit messages, Hit me up on my uh, on my email. It's picassoroberts53 at gmail.com. And just say, hey, listen, you know, we'd like to have you out in this area uh, to do gallery message or, you know, spirit messages. Um, we'll work it out. We'll get together and we'll work out uh, what location and uh, things like that. So I'll figure it out. Now, I, I am going to be sorting out some online stuff for November. Typically, November and December are very quiet months when it comes to stuff like what I do. So I'm going to have some things online that you can just, you know, step into uh, a little class or maybe a gallery event online, something like that that's going to be affordable. Because I know the holidays are coming up and money is tight to begin with. But then for those of you who have family and kids that you want to buy gifts for, um, I don't. I want to make it affordable for you, but still honor what I bring to the table at the same time, right? Uh, all right. I think that's it. Oh, Facebook as well. I am on Facebook. I just I like this YouTube channel. I do. I like it. I like you guys reaching out and making comments and um, ha having things to say and having things to share. So do more of that. It's. Uh, it helps me get excited about stuff. So, all right, guys. Tits up. Peace out. Be good. And I'll see you next week. Ciao.